Now let us talk about policies. If you click on policies in IAM dashboard, it will give you the list of policies already existing and these are called as Amazon defined policies. If you go to IAM best practices and uh, read about uh, uh, policies, the first statement says use AWS defined policies to assign permissions whenever possible. So what is this AWS defined policy is nothing but what we are looking in this page. So all these are AWS defined policies. So if there are set of permissions which needs to be granted to a user on certain um, resources on AWS, then you first have to search whether there is a policy associated with that service uh, exists, which will grant only those permissions that are required by the user. And you should assign that before considering creating a custom policy. Already we are using uh, uh, a policy called administrator access and if you want to get details about these policies you can click on this and you can get the policy summary here in this case this policy have full access on all the services and uh, resources in AWS there are 129 of them and every on each of them uh, the policy have full permissions or full access you can also get the details about policy in the form of JSON by clicking on this JSON. It will help you to create custom policies later. And then uh, you can see what are the attached entities for this policy. They term entities here because a policy can be assigned to a group or a user. So in this case, you can see that this policy is assigned to a group called ITVersity admin. Okay. And then you can get policy versions. So in case if you have a custom policy and if you want to see different versions, you can uh, go to policy versions and you can expand the corresponding version and see the JSON object to understand what all permissions are given in each of these versions. And finally, Access Advisor will give how the policy is being used by the users uh, while dealing with AWS on a day-to-day -day basis. That being said, one thing uh, which you need to keep in mind when it comes to uh, accessing AWS is we should grant least privilege to the user. A user should not get uh, more than what he need to work on AWS um, as per our requirements. Hence, understanding policies and creating custom policies is very, very important. So in this case, let us search for policies related to S3 instead of uh, policies which give full access to everyone. Let's be very specific. S3 is one of the services in Amazon and there are two main policies associated with S3. One is Amazon S3 full access and the other one is Amazon S3 read only access. So full access, if you expand here and see what is going on, you can do everything on S3. You can create a bucket on S3, you can delete a bucket on S3, you can copy files, you can uh, change permissions, etc. Whereas if you look at read-only access, you can only read and list. So the access levels are only read and list. And if you go to the best practices, there is one point on access levels also. Use access levels to review IAM permissions. So whenever we define policies, when we get into the permission on a service, we have um, access levels. And earlier in full access, you have read, write, list, um, modify, etc. whatever is relevant uh, for that. In this case, the access levels are only read and list for S3. So full access can create buckets, can delete buckets, can copy files, can read files, etc. Whereas read only can only read and list. It cannot do anything else. Now, if you want to create a, another policy, which can not only read and list, but also write, but cannot change permissions, there is no policy for that purpose. And if you have to create that policy, and if you want to give that policy to certain set of users, then you can create custom policies by saying create policy here. You can choose a service. So in this case, I am worried about S3. So I'm choosing S3 here. Once S3 is chosen, 
we can select actions so in this case i want to just give list read and write i don't want uh, uh, the user to manage the permissions on s3 he just should list read and write which means he can create files in s3 buckets he can read files and he can list files in s3 buckets nothing more than that and then resources so these are different resources uh, uh, which can be worked upon in s3 one is bucket and then object bucket is the one uh, at a higher level and a bucket can have um, multiple objects uh, in it in the form of directories and files so if you want to control at bucket level you can be specific here uh, you can even add arn arn stands for amazon resource names you can actually be very specific uh, by giving the resource name also it is unique uh, uh, uniquely identified aws resource for your aws account and if you want to give access only to a particular bucket to list read and write you can go to that level and you can define that information here okay so let me give the bucket name here i am opening another window and uh, going to s3 and we can see that there is a bucket called itversity demo and if i just want to give access to itversity demo i can uh, specify that here so first we actually controlled at service level now we are actually controlling at resource level so when it comes to s3 the resource can be a bucket or object okay you can go to a specific object also so in this case we will limit to bucket and then we can review policy and we can give the name so itversity amazon s3 read write list on it versity demo okay so this will actually give read uh, list and write on it versity demo bucket and now i can click on create policy now you can see a new policy is displayed here you can see this icon for aws defined policy or managed policy and there is nothing here because this is created by us now you can expand this and look at json to understand what is going on internally so you can see here these are the uh, exclusive permissions given based upon what we have um, defined while creating the policies or policy and if you want to edit you can click on edit and you can change certain aspects and only you can change your policies you cannot change someone else's policy also one more thing you need to understand is there is a clone option so for example you can uh, go to review policy and uh, say save changes if you make any changes to it and then you can create policy again here and uh, you can say import managed policy so if there is a managed policy and if you want to modify that as per your requirement again i am taking the s3 policies and i am taking this uh, amazon s3 read only access and import now you can expand this and you can see it has only list and get on all resources if i want to add write also i can expand this and i can say write here okay once you say write here and uh, then say review policy i am not going to specific in this case and i am giving name itversity amazon s3 read write access so this is the new policy which i am going to create which will not only have read permission and list permission but also write permission and this is cloned 
uh, from the existing policy. We imported it and we modify certain aspects of it and we are taking uh, further and creating it. You can also clone and, uh, 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 and uh, update certain things within the same policy also. So for example, if I click on edit policy, I can clone this and create one more section like this. And if I want to set up something mutually exclusive to this, I can make slight modifications and I can have a updated policy with more custom permissions. That being said, I'm clicking on review policy here and then save changes. Okay. So this is how you can create the policies. And now we will also see how we can use the policy and uh, see the impact of applying the policies uh, uh, for a user or a group.